What's up, everybody? Vine here with part 9 of Let's Play Super Mario Omega, brought to you by MunchGames.ca. So, off camera, I managed to get that freaking piece, which it was a pain in the ass, but anyway, I got it. And now we can go up that point. Hopefully this leads to the secret exit. I can't be too sure though. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. So I'm not saying I found the secret exit, I'm just saying I got up here. Hmm. Strange, I don't know where that would be then. Hmm. It'll lose me with that secret exit too. Especially. Ah, found ya. Found you. There we go, that's how we get to it. And that's all it does anyway. So let's continue on, shall we? Mossy Code 3. So, as you know, there was already a video uploaded today. This is going to be uploaded on Friday. There was already a video up before that, and there's going to be a third one. We're calling it, Much Games is calling it an Avalfan Enough Day. Just like tomorrow, Saturday, will be a LP Grotus Day, because he will do three videos of Sonic Adventure. When a member does that, then puts up three videos a day, that day is dedicated to that member. That means all the other LPers on the channel will not upload that day. Just so you know, that's something that we've been doing, and we're going to continue to do. I'm assuming I didn't need to do that. What? I imagine it should get up there? Wait. <laughs> okay, so back. Sorry about that interruption. Come on, Mario. Get the feather. Okay. Let's try going down here. So yeah, we're going to be doing that kind of stuff on much games. When a person puts up about three or four videos on a channel for one day. I did not mean to do that. That wasn't my fault. It was a ninji's fault. How? Because I said so. Hey Cole, for once I'm not bug um, <laughs> blaming you. I'm blaming a ninji.
Just like I'm blaming a ninja for that. I'm assuming that's what you needed to do. I don't think I need this piece switch anymore. And people are using Skype in the background. Damn it, much game school for that. Let's just do that so I can get... Take the P-Switch, Mario. Go through the hole. Good, Mario. I guess this is a maze. And I hear a lawnmower outside. That will be my father mowing the lawn. And I'm an idiot because I shouldn't have went there. What the hell? And that was kind of a no-win situation. And that's probably a comment on my Sonic Colors video. Because that was just went live probably an hour and 20 minutes ago. I hope this is not like a whole clusterfuck of wasting time. I don't know why I'm still holding on to this piece, which because I bet I don't need it. But then again, it's probably better to be safe than sorry. I always have a backup plan. Oh yeah, I definitely didn't need this. But I got a feather for it anyway. And in the end, that's what matters. So this is probably going to be a shorter video. We do have to get the secret exit, but let's check out uh, the X Relic first to see what the special world stage is there first. Sonic the Hedgehog. Being the Sonic fan that I am, a huge Sonic fan, we're going to check this out. And we got a remix of Green Hill Zone. Not the whole level, I mean, like the music. Love that song. Sonic 1 has some of the best Sonic music ever. That's debatable, but I think it did. I don't know if these stages have, uh... uh actually, they do have secret exit stats, right? They do. I forgot about that. I remember seeing this one before, too, so... I did not like that. They put a sonic element in it, but it ended up screwing me. That's not what I wanted. Ah, that's all that did. Okay. So yeah, it has some sonic elements. Like those fish are supposed to be like representing the fish then from Sonic 1 jump up for the bridges in Green Hill Zone.
Jeez, Mario, will you learn how to... Okay, I don't know why Mario won't... Okay, so I'm just gonna go this way cause, and get the regular exit first, then we'll go back and get the secret. Because I know where the secret's do. <laughs> Come on, running still. And that takes us to Mega Man 2. So let's go and find the secret exit. Do and this is some awesome Sonic music. I do not like this soundtrack. I think Spring Yard was my well, Spring Yard was my second favorite uh, song in the game. My favorite song has to be uh, Starlight. Ah, that's what it does. Ah, now I get you figured out. Yeah, Starlight Zone had the best music of Sonic 1. Once again, debatable. But that's just my opinion. And... I do not like that. Pretty sure I know where it's to. Or general area. I know where the keyhole's to, obviously. Ah, I think I found it. There's a way to get down there now. Oh, there's a feather there? Okay. I'm trying to remember what a key is to. But I can't remember what a key is to. No. There's a certain way to get to the exit, I know that. Ah, I knew I was right. Give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. 
particular followers. <laughs> followers. And Zelda 2. But we're gonna go back. Sorry about that, pause. So let's finish off this world once and for all. Remember, we did get a secret exit here. I almost scared myself, thinking I was gonna fall into the pit. And I fucked myself over. You don't wanna go fuck yourselves, unless you're into that kind of thing. But anyway... Before I go on a kind of tangent or something that Bong would go on. <laughs> Actually, you probably wouldn't go on that particular tangent, but yeah, you get it. Yeah, go fuck yourself, if you're in that sort of thing. But anyway... <laughs> and if you are, fine, that's your choice. I'm not here to judge. But like I said, I'm not gonna stay on this weird tangent. Uh, I don't condone it, and I don't do not, uh, say you shouldn't do it. Yeah, personal choice, I don't give a crap. Like I said. Now, remember, we did find a secret exit for this level already in the last part. So it's just pretty much straightforward. Continue on with the level. And then we can try. Actually, no sense of trying. We will finish this world today. Oh. That's kind of weird, it had a 1 in it, but yet... Oh! Oh. Oh. Whoa! Yeah, so let's not go on weird tangents like that, shall we? Oh, it landed. Okay, I'm gonna have to choose my save stadium. Uh, better. So, let's just go to Territory no, Territory Fallen Castle. Tongue twisters today, I'm telling you. You know, it's not only tongue twisters, just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, now I'm doing like Steve Krell from freaking uh... What's that movie? Who saw Marty? Yeah, that was actually a good movie. Water. Damn it, Cole. You and you're always talking about water levels, and now I gotta deal with one in a freaking water castle. Ooh, bonefish. That's how I like my fish. Bony. Because I don't eat fish. So they can bot for all I care. on the water. Thank you. And I'm glad I got a cape, because I can take these guys out. But yeah. So yeah, I like doing my weekly updates on my channel, and uh, well, there's only one up so far. There's gonna be another one up now in two days' time. This is gonna be shown on a Friday. Maybe I should take the fire flower and not lose it right away. Like, like Ponga sometimes does. Well, anybody can do that, really. Lose, lose it right away. You know, bad break. Do do. Classic castle theme. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a Wait a minute. This is similar. Hmm, that sent me in a loop. Thank God it's not an infinite loop like programming stuff. Which I did in college. Well, it was a part of my training with IT. But... We had to do basic program. That's not my thing, though. I'm not into this programming code. I'll leave that to like Microsoft and Apple and other companies, and then I'll just use your software to do things like this. And where's my feather? Look at 
Okay, so... What? Oh, there's another pipe. Get it. Interesting. I've always liked the castle theme, though. It's really cool. Yeah. And if you haven't been following on Mario ULP, you should be. Uh, Wendy, we defeated Wendy the other day. You know, that slot. And if you, if you're watching, I hope you did get checked out after if you watched that part, because uh, she did technically pretty much anal rape Toad. So, yeah. More, more sexual innuendos from Avalfan. Well, that, like, how the hell did that hit me? Like, hitbox frames? Okay. I don't like this particular part. Fuck it. I'll take the... Okay, yeah. Okay. But I said, there's gotta be a safe way. <laughs> Apparently there is. And I just didn't follow it. So, yeah, going on my previous tangent, if you're into that sort of stuff... Yup! Anyway, before anybody feels like it's <laughs> I'm with a tangent starts... <laughs> ...being offended by those type of comments, I'm gonna stop it right there. So, yeah. But if you, like I said, if you do, if previous in a video, then that's your own preference. What you do in the privacy of your own home bedroom is none of my concern. Unless I'm there with you. Ladies. Okay, I did not like that. There we go. So now we're continuing on. Man, this is one long video. Dry bones, I'm gonna kill you. There you go. Well, at least I'm gonna disable you for a few seconds. Not you, bonefish. Whoa, that was close. I hit the button at the right time. This video's gonna be like 25 minutes. Okay, well, maybe less than that, probably, but... Saw that coming. Underwater, but yet fire shows up. Does that make sense? Anyway, Wendy's dead. She got anal vaped again, because she loves it. Man, I really got stopped on that tangent about Wendy. Ugh. Just thinking and saying it. Ugh. Just, I hope that, that mental picture didn't go in someone's head, because if it did, ugh. that's a scary thought. Anyway. Let's go up this pipe. Save our game. It's a warp pipe. And in the next part, we'll take out Gentile Eclipse 1. So once again, my name is Ryan. See you in the next part. Goodbye, everybody.